Hey, this is Mark Henry, author of Dancing with Energy, Healing Magic, and Mysticism, here to talk to you more about the occult and the paranormal. Well, uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on the side effects of touching the unseen. Before I begin, um, I just wanted to mention something to you. Um, I've been getting some messages from people who uh, felt disappointed that they weren't able to take advantage of my um, discounted price on my Etsy attunement store. So I'm going to reinstate that for a temporary period of time. So I'm going to have it up for about a week. So if you want 18% um, off these connections, these spiritual connections to various entities, I have um, 22 at the moment, uh, many of whom that you know if you uh, watched my videos. There are people who have been getting these attunements and have been really um, changing their lives and leveling up their magic and doing really well with them. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But today I'm going to be talking about the side effects of touching the unseen. Now I have briefly mentioned um, a similar topic in my other videos, but it's something that I really feel is important. Uh, for someone to be aware of if they practice magic and um, spiritualism and all these other types of arts. So it is a, a truism that we exist together in the universe with other beings, with other people, uh, including um, spirits, entities of all kinds. We form relationships with uh, these beings uh, through our words, through our thoughts, even through the interaction of our energy fields, the transmission of intelligence information uh, through those means. Now, um, we affect each other through this interaction with people, with spirits, uh, with uh, beings of all kinds. Um, there is an expression, it's, usually you'll hear, hear it from older folks, uh, or maybe even from your parents, uh, they'll say something like, uh, birds of a feather flock together. Or uh, an even older one, I think, is, um, tell me who you walk with and I'll tell you who you are. Uh, there is, uh, and it kind of illustrates what I've um, kind of been just talking about, is that there is a transmission of information there's a transmission of vibration between people. And not only that, but if you look at it on other levels, more mundane levels, uh, the behaviors tend to uh, be similar among people that are friends, uh, you know, social pressure, peer pressure, um, that type of thing. And not only that, even pr if you look, step, take a step back from that, we tend to, from the get go, uh, like people who are like ourselves in a lot of ways, who have our same interests and um, our same predilections. Uh, there is a, I remember when studying sociology in school, there's a concept called differential association. And what it said was that uh, when somebody is first engaging with um, those who have uh, tendencies to commit crime once they become part of a group or uh, a collection of people who are doing that. They t and if the longer that they're in it, the more they uh, adopt the uh, beliefs and values and get more integrated into that, uh, just because due to the influence and integration. Now, I also you, you may ask, well, what does this have to do with the occult and spiritual entities and that sort of thing? Well, I mentioned uh, something in my other videos, and that is you are affected by the entities of darkness and light with which you are interacting with. And this may not even be conscious. Um, this may be just like we're talking about. They have... And energy and you have your energy and when those are mixing through evocation invocation summoning um, sometimes even 
you know, just having a, a conversation where there's a connection, that connection brings forth a back and forth between you. And I don't like to use dualistic language. Um, there is a, a kind of a, a lack of a, a language for describing this of darkness and light. You know, honestly, there's more of a continuum than just two particular polar opposites. So if, for example, let's say that you tend to, your vibrations tend to be more like on the lighter side. And you start to work with spirits that are kind of more on the darker side. Now, one or two type of workings won't make a big difference. Uh, it'll be kind of subtle. But if the thing to be aware of is if there becomes a tendency or a pattern to work with spirits of a particular classification or category. And of course, I know that all spirits are unique and have their own just like people. Um, however, there are reasons why they are kind of grouped in certain uh, collections and why they're labeled as such. It may people may say it's like a stereotype, but sometimes these sorts of things have some truth to them. So if you were to you know start to work with these spirits that are more on the darker side, you would notice yourself over time. That's why it's always good to keep a journal to keep track of this. Not only if, you know keep track of your thoughts, your parts of your lives, your workings, but it would be an easy way to detect this uh, and to avoid um, self-deception because that is something that is also part of the occult world sometimes. Uh, the more that you work with it, you might find that you feel less light. You may feel more of a type of intensity in you. One that might not be something you're used to, maybe something that you're not comfortable with. You might find that your thoughts are changing in certain directions. And this might not be what you had in mind. Uh, so this is why I'm kind of bringing this to everyone's awareness. Now, I think that uh, as maybe someone who is older, you, you might catch this a little easier, or you might see this a little easier, because uh, we all have kind of a, you know, I think like a core self. And if you start to go in another direction, you suddenly start to change like in this particular context. Now, um, people that are much younger and maybe getting started in magic and this sort of thing, they, um, because they're still learning about themselves or trying to do new things and exploring and find out who they are, they may lack the self-knowledge and self-awareness to detect a core self to know that, you know, this is not necessarily what they want. We, as people, are vulnerable to habit patterns, to typical ways of doing things, to certain behaviors. And by doing these things, we can become stuck. And once you are stuck, then you have to dig your way out, which is why um, being aware of this phenomena, if you decide to go in this direction, know that this is a possibility. Now you might say, well, Mark, maybe their core self is this little bit of a darker, um, edgier type of energy. And if that's true, then, you know, feel free to go in that direction. Um, however, um, please know that, again, you are touched by what you interact with and who you interact with. And if you are you can still get wrapped up in certain things that would uh, be kind of against that core self of who you are. You've probably, you maybe even um, noticed this in, in people. Your parents probably heard, talked about 
a friend or how they were one way and then they changed because they hung out with the wrong crowd. Well, a lot of young people, again, they're exploring, they're trying new things, they're trying to learn about life, and that happens. And maybe they go back to who they were before, or maybe they get settled into this new identity. But that is basically um, kind of what I have to say about that. Now, what can one do something? about this whole situation if you don't want if you don't want for this to rub off on you if you want to go in a certain direction one you can do um, spiritual baths in the case of somebody who's more on the lighter side and wants to do the occasional working with spirits that are darker spiritual baths are good uh, also kind of be mindful of what you're doing be mindful of the short and long-term effects of what you're doing because sometimes those are different I think it's kind of a good rule in life too uh, for example in investing investing money um, there are people who are more kind of in the moment who are um, very much into buying things and making themselves appear a certain way and to have all the really nice things and these, these people may not be investing for their future, for when they get older and not letting their money grow. Um, they have a different strategy and pattern of dealing with their money. And I'm sure there are reasons for that. Sometimes people, some of their beliefs about money are connected to the way that they were raised, the way their parents handled their money, and they kind of integrated that uh, when they were younger. In any case, uh, long and short term consequences, be aware of that whenever you are uh, dealing with um, spirits. Okay, well, again, I'm going to put the link in the description uh, if you want to uh, look at the Etsy store with the attunements and the um, discounted price for the holidays. Also, there's a Facebook group if you want to learn more about the attunements, I'll put that link. And I will uh, please subscribe and like, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in a future video.